Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my dad was going Hey, man, we in Los Angeles, man. Hey, man, you got to be well connected and, yeah, respected, man, mm-hmm. to get this guy right here. He not feel that you just come in his hood. <laughs> really, you niggas in trouble, man. Y'all, we done pulled up on the gym, nigga. Huh. Yeah, man, come to minutes in the building, man. Yeah, yeah, what's up with Man, you? thank you so much for inviting us into your city. I appreciate you for having me. Man, you one of them man. guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Like when I look up here and see the city, I'll be like, dang, man. Wonder what that nigga like. You you one of them guys, you know what I'm saying? Facts, you facts. got the star power, the look, you know what I'm saying? What you oh, think? Man. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. Because all I can do is remember him and um straight out of content. That's all I'm like, yeah, they you made them books. Man, I, I mean what it wasn't hard for the, to prepare for something like that, you just had that scene like I'm gonna kill it. How did you end up even getting in that situation? Really, when I once I um, well, I had a mutual friend that was working with F. Gary Gray on the movie. Okay. So they got in contact with me, and you know I had went up there, and basically we had to switch up the switch up the script, switch up um, the name of the character and shit like that, because I just wanted to be more into what it you know what it is. And, yeah. You know, it was just a good look. Came out good. Everybody loved it. And that was just another blessing in my life. Right there. Who chose? Like, like who? How did you? You, you didn't know none of these people. How did they call you or what? Well, F. Gary Gray. He just said he been following me. He liked my image, and he just saw me in the movie. So he just, going, you know, basically. You fit the role. Right, a part in there, yeah. Man, you know that that that's dope when you really when the work pays off. Yeah, like you've been putting it down for some years facts, when it comes facts. to the music scene and all that stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I know how I know how my wife feels. I'm gonna shut up <laughs> because she wants to know like the street you was on when you used to walk to school as a little kid yeah. and type. She I finna go down you. through there with you. I'm yeah. not like that. I like to get to the juicy stuff, nigga. I want to be over with cash money, yeah. all this stuff. I want to know how this happened. But she got her own way of doing I got to respect her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cause I want to know how you were raised, where you were raised, um, the environment you were raised in. Yeah. I mean, siblings, mom, dad, grandma, anything and everything that you feel comfortable in telling us about. Yeah, anything, but. You know, I wasn't gonna say it was just, I was raised in like a normal, normal household, I would mm-hmm. say, you get me? It's just, um, I grew up, it was two of my sisters, my mom, uh, my father, you know, he was an army veteran, he passed away now. Rest in wow. peace to my Rest pops. Rest in peace pops. Yeah, but I always had like a different thought about different things and how to carry myself and what I was doing outside the house and what I was doing inside the house, you know, so I guess that always helped me, you feel me? Yeah. yeah, being 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 one that grew up in Compton, man, uh, Bompton. I done been told how to say it. Niggas just done check me already. OG nigga, I told a mob check me. Oh, you know Menace? I said I know. I'm getting to know him, nigga. You know? That's my guy. You know, he's like, oh, he's a good dude, man. Everybody love you, bro. Even them dudes just left. They like he family. Like you got a good report in this city, bro. Yeah, I spread a lot of love. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. I spread a lot of love. Everything is positive. I fuck with everybody. Wow. There ain't nothing behind it, behind the, um, behind the carpet and nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. So, just being around like like the the whole Compton area, just tell us how it was like when you first you know start coming up and yeah. start understanding the streets and like just like how I'ma move, where I'ma go, like who you, how was you linked in, like you know? Yeah, well, like in my neighborhood. Yeah, like, neighborhood. Let's say that. I, well, I grew up playing sports, like basketball. Oh, you played that ball? Shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're tall. You had yeah, some? Yeah, yeah fact. You take a nigga? I could've, I could've went to college. <laughs> Ooh. I, went to college. I just, my grades and shit was bad, so that was all, you know, on my behalf right there. My How girl, many kids you have? I got five kids. Wow. Yeah, I got she a brand, the oldest? I got a brand new baby. He has That's the months. one we seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Eight months. That boy ready, right? And so I got a 14. Are you done? Nah, I want, a, I want like 10 kids. I got wow. a 14-year-old. 11 year old, 10 year old, 8 year old, yeah. Dope, so you man. start, so what happened to the gap? 8 year old and then dropped to him? Well, I was doing a lot of just moving around and not, oh, not okay. trying to have a baby at the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but you were. on 10? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, how many boys, how many girls? 
how many I got right now? Yeah. Well, I got three boys and two girls. And two girls. Yeah. Okay. He moved with precision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That nigga not playing. Got it. Got it. I went you, to. Uh, oh, he, I said he could come over here yeah. if you he wanted to take. You, if you wanted, was he trying to take a picture of you? No, he's just videoing. Video. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say if he wanted to do one of you. Japan. He actually an artist out there too. Really? Yeah. So. So basically, he he he. You, how did you and him link? Man, him met through mutual people. But we just been grinding together. Grinding together. After that, yeah, yeah. He got the, a lot of shit he doing, a lot going on. He that's got crazy. The, the same culture that we have over there, they have. What's his name? Do, John Doe. John Doe. John Doe. John Doe, yeah. John Doe in the building. You know, yes, he behind sir. the scenes doing his thing around this thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Man, John Doe in the building, man. So if you went over there, you would swear that you was in the hood, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he got low riders. He got all types of shit over there. That's dope, wow. man. So, man, so when you when you when you think about like I said the the come up scene like you was you was linked with uh uh the game yeah I came up to the game yeah so yeah. did you take that nigga to the hoop or what no nah, he good in basketball that nigga good <laughs> 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 he good in basketball he good at rapping you feel me yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't fuck that boy be man. rapping man yeah. that's one of them ones right there like nice. when you think of this place right here this nigga is like yeah nah I, he the only nigga I seen. In my eyes, the 50 Cent had issues like this yeah. nigga was crazy. You know? yeah, and and would just go like he, he just half of the time we didn't even know like what the fuck was gonna happen next. You feel me? <laughs> Come out of his room, you just see what's happening. Like damn. You, when you did y'all chill, link? Like, How old was you? I linked with Game probably in I was about 19. 19. Yeah. This is really when he was uh, getting this shit with Dr. Dre. Yeah. So we had a mutual friend too. Shout out to Michael Hunt. Okay. We played ball together and shit like that. So, uh, you know, I was had an influence in the hood and the streets and shit like that. So they was really telling me to just come fuck with him. You feel me? Just come hold him down because they wanted, you know, some real niggas around him. Yeah. So that's kind of how I really got in there. And I was playing sports at the time for, like, Southwest College. Okay. And then um, I just fell in love with the music. Man. Yeah. And... and the rest is history, huh? Right. Like, like when you when you think about the you you and the and like the 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 South, the you for some reason Lil Wayne and them have a real connection to yeah. this L.A. culture. Right. When I look at Birdman and them, and, and and I've interviewed people, and I always be like, dang, how they they love the L.A. culture. They they lived out the blood and all that. The the colors, they 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 whole setup is it, it it's funny because they named Cash Money after that movie. Yeah. But then, <laughs> that's in New York. But then you end up looking like the people of L.A. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever think about yeah. that? Shout out to Birdman. <laughs> See, Wayne, yeah, Wayne, Wayne a good dude. Wayne a good dude. Wayne, me and Wayne had a relationship before me and Birdman did. Yeah, you know, y'all did. Like Wayne is a good dude, man. So Wayne, like, like you guys, like when you look at Birdman and that whole, they had a, a was it you was with them before they did the uh, what they called the Cash Money uh, West Coast, well, or did you? Yeah, was, you was before that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah facts. Yeah, so. Um, how did y'all end up, you know, even putting it, it had to be with the game or something? No, nah, no, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't? No, nah, no. Nah. It was uh, oh. just, I think I was on the road somewhere, and then I ran into Birdman, and he was telling me that he really wanted to fuck with me. It was my situation. So after that, we had chopped it up, and uh, probably like a month later, I was on the road with Birdman, and we was just, you know, getting in, building on the music, having a bunch of conversations, and he was telling me, like, too many rappers in there. Ain't no CEO. That's why niggas ain't getting looked out for. That's, That's why this and this. You feel me? So kind of, I did my project that I was supposed to do with him. But after that, it was, um, you know, the option. So I kind of took that to come back and build with, you know, my people and and what we up to now. You feel me? But wow. Birdman and uh, Wayne, you know, they did so much for me in every different way you can think about. It, you know, I gotta respect them forever. Yeah, like like it's not. I talked to King Noah. He the guy that rock with them. You heard? You know King Noah? Yeah. Them they've been on my show. They always show me love, man. It's people that been around him from Nikki Natural to everybody that been mm -hmm. around him. God keeps putting me in the midst of people yeah. that rock with him. I know I get to interview him one day. Yeah, you know right, what I'm saying? Because right. I, I, I'm like, man, I'm a big, she know I am about mm -hmm. bird, man. Yeah. Like, this nigga boss, I love boss nah, talk. You know what I'm saying? Too. So it's like, this dude here, man, and everybody's story be like that, yeah. you know? And it's like genuine, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like you you did, how did the song come about the, with, with Lil Wayne? Um, I had, I really, 
me and Wayne was real close at this time, so Game would have me um, hit him up so he could get verses from Wayne. So one day I'm like, fuck it, I hit him for myself. Oh. You know what I mean? So he did, the, um, he did the verse for me, and then he was getting ready to go to jail. He had called me like, hey, you want you trying to shoot the video? I'm like, hell yeah. So he's like, I'll be out there on Wednesday. I shoot it Wednesday. And that was before jail? And that's before he went to jail. So he pulled up, we shot the video. Why do you, know, you think he picked that time to do it? Just he wanted to get something out before he went? Yeah, he was probably in L.A. And he probably just wanted Going to, to work. Out. Yeah. He wanted to just make sure that he could, you know, fulfill, you know, promises. Yeah. Yeah. Because he, he was doing so many features and yeah, everything. Because he, he knew he was going to be gone for a minute, so. Yeah. He probably wanted, you know, all that shit to come out collectively. Yeah, right trying now. to figure out a way to stay relevant until he got back. Because he knew his Facts. bid wasn't that long. Facts. He didn't have a long bid. Like, some niggas go in there, nigga don't know when he's getting mean, out. In the entertainment <laughs> a year away, that's a long time. Do you think that, like, it's a plot against you guys? Like, you see how many times people be, like, like the artists catch yeah. out, boots on the side of the road, hollering, like, nigga, I'm because he's targeted by the they police. Go in, nigga, you know, do you yeah. think it's some, like, like a, a, a special kind, kind of way that they treat y'all in a bad way? You get a bad rap I mean, for you? From what I came across personally, like, sometimes cops do have, like, a bad, you know, day or something like that and probably have an attitude or something with you but at the end of the day you gotta know how to deal with people yourself that's you know? real so I feel like most people put put themselves in a position that they do either with their ego or you know anything else how do you stay so damn level headed, man? I don't like going to jail. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I like don't want to go to jail. Long, nothing, yeah. You know, I'm the same way and I had the same experience being one that been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of time I remember one night I got jiggy with the laws. I'm like, nigga, what you doing that to him for my partner? That nigga told me, uh you move before I put my foot in your chest. Yeah. And I was trying to flex, you know what I'm saying? The next thing you know, I'm in the back of the car too. Yeah. I'm behind. So, what you saying it's makes it's sense. Up. And I'm going to jail like, damn, I should have just shut up, yeah. you know? Look, I'm in the car with my boy. This nigga, he looking at the cop crazy. <laughs> Turn around, pull us over, you feel me? Like, exactly. What you fucking me for? Exactly, you, know you I mean? can't I'm do like, it. Like, what you eye fucking me for? Like, yeah, well, I'm going to put your bitch ass in here. In the back of the car. He said, put your daughter in the back seat with me and see what happened to you. Ooh. Put him in the back of the car and whooped his ass, bro. You heard me? Wow. Then, it's a black cop with me. It's a white cop with him. So the black cop right there, I'm like, man, you gonna act like you don't see that going on? He looked me dead in my eyes and said, see what? You feel me? I'm like, shit, all right. Damn. See nothing either. Wow. The white man. cop opened the door and said, you, you, you got something to say? I'm like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of got the leverage on you. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Mm -hmm. Man, and then the reputation that they hold, you think a nigga get a clue, right? You <laughs> Man, just get this shit over with. So how how do you like like performing like in, in front of masses of people, man? You've had to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How I talked to my one of my cats, man. Shout out to Hot Boy Wes. He was like, man, these folks make me nervous. When I go, he was young, you know, he a yeah, youngster. Right. He like, when I go out there and look, man, that crowd, man, it's, it's a lot of people out there. <laughs> <laughs> what the? He's like Gucci there with me. There's a lot of people out there. Yeah, facts, <laughs> facts. It is. So how do you how do you deal with that? I mean, first coming when I first came into my career, it's like kind of crazy. Been around a lot of people I didn't know. You feel me? People looking at you and shit like that. Like I used to have to call homies like, hey, man, this nigga looking at me, shit, man. And kind of find out they was fans. You feel me? But I don't know. I just I just don't worry about too much shit like that. And. It's just a different energy that come while I'm on stage and I just want to touch everybody. So every show that I have, I go to the back of the motherfucker, no matter where we at. You do? Yeah, every show. We're going to climb, the, we're going to go all the way up, all the way to the back. You're going to make sure time. you be, deal with all the make people? Make sure I'm on everybody level every time. Wow, that's love too. Yeah, do you take is. pictures with your fans and all that all, every time? The last one. If you want it, I'm here. Wow. That was, who was that told us that like, he gonna take pictures with everybody. That was right. Lil Kiki told me that. He was like, right. Pow Wow gonna take pictures with everybody. It's I didn't a, used to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I, it's a privilege to be in this position right here. You feel me? Yeah. So, I, like when I came up, How did I you saw, learn that? Cause I saw artists and found out who they really, really was or how they was really acting. And it made me, you know, not want to like like want to do something to them. You get what I'm saying? So, and, I, and the people that you come across, like they deserve, like, you feel me? Like if they see you want to take a picture, they deserve that. Because yeah, I used yeah. to always say, like, you know what comes with the business Facts. in the first place. So why go into this business if you're not ready to deal with your fans? Because some people are like, all I want to do is the music. I don't want to do nothing else. 
Yeah, that ain't how it works. It comes with a package. Right. Yeah, like it, it's so many stories we hear doing this type of work. It's like mm -hmm. Lil Ronnie told us, like somebody tattooed their name on him. He couldn't believe. He like I wouldn't have done it, yeah. <laughs> but it was like they love him so much they tatted their name on them. Like yeah, his name, and yeah. showed it to him. Like yeah, look, like what the hell? <laughs> That's what like, you call a super forgot. fan. Nah, hell yeah. I mean, it's love. I, I embrace all that shit. I got people out the country with my face tattooed on them. Oh yeah. really? So, hell yeah. Is that the craziest thing a fan ever yeah, done? Yeah. Well. What's would, the craziest yeah, I thing? I would say so. I would say so. I don't keep like. You don't have no females trying to, you know, break into your house that, and be in nah, the bed waiting on you. That happened a little way. No, nobody knows. That happened somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? I, like I saw that. that I saw that. I saw a write up on it like two days ago. Some other celebrity. Um, it was a white guy. Some female broke into his house, mm -hmm. as an artist, and was in there waiting on him. They, in in the bed. They shouldn't let too many people in their house. In their house, right? Like nobody come to my house. So. Nobody. I mean, my Asians is, uh, I mean, my neighbors is Asians and, 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 and <laughs> I, I, if I, yeah, see, get if I see a nigga look like I'm asking like, what, <laughs> what is he doing, doing over here? Like, you get nervous, right? Like, what the hell is he doing over here? visiting. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't live there. So, you so when you but think, yeah, I don't have that for him. When you That's think about is. just the, what's your favorite, like, outside of L.A., what's your favorite place to perform in? I like, um, man, it's a small place. It's, man, like. That'd be the ones, don't it? Yeah, like shit. North South, North and South Carolina. Um, it's a lot of places, bro. Cause I like performing everywhere, but just like deep in the South and shit yeah. like that, it just yeah. be a different, you know. You get more love. It's just a different feeling. You feel me? Like everybody is is like, you come here, niggas is gonna like look at you and shit like that. They feeling the vibe, but yeah, niggas, they, they, they ain't gonna let it know. Yeah, be known. They don't want to. They want to be too gangster. Yeah, 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 they gangster <laughs> with it. But you know, I like going to places. Just, just, turned up where this is what it is to do you feel me i'm gonna tell you like when we walked out of here a while ago we went up on the roof and took some pictures and it was like three or four people standing there mm -hmm. and being from texas three or four people standing there three or four people get spoke to yeah. no, but but like, here they don't do that they don't talk to people but but tell them uh, that's like, the same like new york new york is the, new same, york way. the same way we yeah. go up there like but in the south yeah. Like if you walk in, I don't right. even care. I don't care about your tattoos, none of that. I'm like, what's up, man? Yeah. You know, I might not even right. know you, but I'm just gonna do it because she know how I am. He I don't mean no, I don't mean no damn strangers because you never know. That's Better if you black. I'd be like, hell no, I we might have to get back to back. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you trying I to do? Check the energy everywhere. What's up, bro? You good? <laughs> So. No, my cousins from out here, they basically come, they used to be faster than us. They'll come down. they like, they. I never forget, these niggas were like, they let you pump the gas first down there? I'm like, yeah, nigga, what? You these niggas tripping. They <laughs> <laughs> nigga like, we yeah, better go. Then they, then they like, you a buster. Like, if you don't steal the gas, like, you a but They get mad at me. I'm like, I know these people. <laughs> they was so, every day, yeah. they tripping, man. They come yeah. down to the wind, bro. And we took them to Shreveport, the same thing. They want to check the, the other niggas to see if they really who they say they is. I'm like, nigga, leave them niggas alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these my first cousins, so we always, I would always laugh at how different we was, but we still nigga, like, like Jay said. <laughs> no, it's definitely different. It's, it's very different. different. Like when you went to the South, what was something that stuck out to you like they did that you guys didn't even rock with up here? Mm -hmm. Man, all these, I, all these niggas the same, man, I ain't gonna lie. But really, with me, it was like the food difference, I think. It, oh, the it, food difference? Yeah, it wasn't really about like how they act or nothing like that. Man, when I seen... The niggas, uh, niggas look... All right, I'm gonna say this. Niggas, niggas kind of scary on this side, bro. Like sneaky. You feel me? Like That's something sneaky. you see. Yeah, they sneaky. But like, it's different though, cause Hispanics, like, like I got a old school. Mm -hmm. They don't never say like nice car. They just stare. Yeah. That kind of weird me out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, they don't just say it's a nice car. Yeah. What they trying to think? They don't know what you do. Nigga, you... They don't want <laughs> you to know what they do. <laughs> you not gonna get this one, nigga. <laughs> no, nah, man. It's just, it's a different way. I love getting off the plane in different places. You know I am Philadelphia. Wherever I go, I like to just get off and just, like you just said, test the temperature yeah. of other people. Like, I be trying to figure everything out in the city when I get there. I go to the hood. I done been to Compton. I just had to go when I first. I'm like, oh, what they do over here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga knows his hell. Like, like my like, people over, cool here? over here. Right? Yeah, but no, you don't want to get caught up. But in Chicago, know. like, yeah. it's like Chicago is the South same thing. Like, side, what yeah. they doing over here? But like, damn, they do something because nigga 
even be talking. Yeah. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. We have a problem, problem in Chicago. <laughs> I, I, went, I just got back. I be going over. I be tripping. I be yeah. like trying to figure this stuff out, man. Yeah, yeah. But, but when you perform in Chicago, how is it? You have you performed over there? Yeah, I performed there before. It's cool. It's Chicago cool. Love, yeah. What's the? So, oh, I wanted to ask. Um, since you are in um, Straight Outta Compton, have you had or are you working on any other film right now? Oh yeah, I did um, Fatal. That came out last year. Mm -hmm. Hilary Swank, Michael Ely, Tyron Turner. Wow. Directed by Dion Taylor. Shout out to Dion. I did um, BT Tales. Whatever got in. Who? I did um, Kansas City Double Crosswords, Crossroads. I did. Um, and these were major roles or small roles? Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, and you have anything coming out that hasn't been out yet? Yeah, we really, we're starting to get everything settled to do the series for OG Two-Tone character from Straight Outta Compton. Yeah. So we're starting to get that done. We should be shooting that by next year. And then I did um, Baby Gangster. That's a movie that was produced and um, written in put together by Bloods and Crips from here mm -hmm. in California and Los Angeles. So that was a big thing that we did. We all worked on that together. It's did you end up doing thing. any acting classes? Nah, I, well, I had did um, Snowfall for John Singleton and he, the first time he talked to him, he was like, I think you should, should, do, some <laughs> think you should do a couple acting classes. <laughs> <laughs> you want the parts, you got it. I'm like, Man, Shit, John Singleton, R.I.P. Yeah, oh, I okay. had went, I went like twice, but you didn't After like acting it. class like being around a bunch of crazy people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they be different. That's what somebody they. told me. Yeah, everybody just in their own world. Bro, bro. Columbus Short just left here, and I promise you, they crazy. They different, bro. I'm telling Them you. real hardcore serious actors. Yeah. It's he was just here, and now I'm like this nigga here. He can turn it on and turn oh, it off, baby. Dang, it, like, it's weird it's to me. I'm like she asked him what? about a sex scene and about how would he, he like it's nothing. It's like going to work. It's like they serious <laughs> as hell, bro. Like. <laughs> It's like going to work and going right. home, nigga. But we asked somebody else about it, too, and they said the first time they went, they'll tell you to, like, um, think of an emotion and just want you to do everything on the spot. Yeah. The scenarios, yeah. and you're supposed to just do it. Yeah. And they were like, it's not that easy the way how people make it sound yeah, it's not. at all. Especially with a bunch of, like, strangers in the room and shit like that. Everybody have, ain't nobody that comfortable, like, to just... Bust it down. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Unless you're Kevin Hart or somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the reason why I, the reason why I ask you that because right now in majority of your roles you play almost the same type of character, yeah. right? But in order for you to change and if you want if they wanted you to play a different kind of role, mm -hmm. that's why I was wondering if you went to class to be able to learn all of those oh. type of. Oh no, I'm gonna for the next five years for the next five more years I'm gonna be the gangster in uh, the movies, the, the gangster in the movies. Then when we start shooting our movies, then they gonna get to see the lawyers and the doctors come up out of me. Oh, okay. oh it's going oh, okay. down, huh? Yeah, we gotta have the power first, though. They ain't gonna give it to us like that. I was I gotta ask you, Fruit Town. The difference yeah. between living there, I mean, being there and being anywhere else, growing up, like you, I've heard Nickerson and all, mm -hmm. all these different hoods. Like, what's the difference in Fruit Town? I mean, the big difference is I would say my older homies that was the in influencers. Okay. That was coming up for us. You feel me? I feel like that was different because they always steered me in it. Right direction, you feel me? Make yeah. sure I wasn't just out here hanging out, never put a gun in my hands, never wow. put no drugs in my hands. If I uh, if I was supposed to be somewhere, you get me? Then they'll make sure I was there. Like you know, I had a different set of OGs around me. They felt they it was. But rules. I like that. Yeah. And I like the fact that you listened because when we were talking to someone earlier, we were talking about Tupac and they were feeling like they should have protected him more and not have him out there yeah. protect him as the artist yeah. you know what I mean but then they said well if you know Tupac the way how he was he not gonna listen he gonna do what he wanna do anyway well the thing about that part is like even some of my older homies like I was listening to them <clears throat> but I feel it was holding me back from my career and what I was doing so yeah. but at the end of the day I had to tell him like you, you own the fish market you got this, you got this going on, you got this going on. This is all I do, you feel me? So <clears throat> I kind of need to make my own choices and moves and decisions no matter how they feel about it because this is what I have going on, 
Man, that boy got on that bus, OG two tone. <laughs> man, how, like you got on that thing, it was so real. I love that scene, bro. Yeah, man, hey, look awesome. out, dog. Bro, I ain't lying. You killed that old bro. Like, like you went in. Like nah, I, I believed it, bro. I believed it. I'm not playing. When you got on that hoe, you was like, yeah, nigga, I could be the one to kill your ass, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how many times you had to do that? When when I first had when we was getting the shit right. I had to ask for like a little 10 minute break, go in there, beat myself up real fast and show me yeah. Come back and realize it's like, I had to really act like it was a show. Yeah. Act like I was performing. You feel me? Yeah. I was feeling like, uh, like I was in acting class. You feel me? Mm. I was feeling like that. <laughs> so once I had got that mental, then it was just all ready to go. Once I knew everybody was here for me, they spent $350,000 today. Me. Just for you let to do that do scene. My, let me go do my thing. I mean, that, that helped, that worked. And it was a good thing. Dr. After I did that scene, Dr. Dre came up to me like, hey, man, you scared the shit out of me. Like, <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. Yeah, you rocked that hoe, man. I ain't, I ain't just saying that, nigga. That was one of the hardest scenes for me in the movie when you got on that damn bus. And they pulled that hoe. I said, oh, hell, it's going down, nigga. I felt like I was watching Colors again, nigga. It went down. You took me back to Colors, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That was definitely a good, that was a good, good time to kick it off, man. And it was real good because it really didn't have nothing to do with the fucking movie. No, it didn't. It didn't. But so, you made that whole fit, though. Yeah. That whoever directing you in that, bro, yeah. when they, whatever they, did they write it on paper, nigga? How did they do no, it? We had to rewrite it. You had to rewrite yeah, it? Yeah, because it was, you know how they write things. It's not yeah, you like, this yeah. ain't, this not ain't it. Weird. That's not real. You told him, like, you got to do it like this, nigga. Right. Right. Like, he don't know the hood, nigga. Like, you, I got to show this, nigga. This is white, boy, okay? So you, I want you to come in right here. <laughs> <laughs> how was I curious? How was Mr. it supposed Menace. to be? How did they write it at first? He don't give don't a damn about that. Yeah. I probably got the paper somewhere at, the, at my house somewhere. But it was so long ago, I don't remember. That was like, what, seven years ago? That was seven years ago now. Yeah, man, but I'm telling you, that's the part of the movie. When they when when they told me that part, that's what shot. I was like, hell yeah, hey, get that nigga to me, man. Yeah. So, so. so, man, working with Chris Brown, how was that? Man, Chris is a beast, man. He they say he better than Michael Jackson. These niggas is saying it. Man, I ain't got to be around, I ain't got to be around Michael, but I will be able to tell you. That's what. That's the same thing. What's the name said? Uh, 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 <laughs> Uh, that damn uh, low D's with mm -hmm. yellow B's and man just say man I was at Chris house all for a couple of days nigga like yeah. <laughs> like it ain't no Chris nigga they gonna put Chris on Michael Jackson nigga around this hoe Chris, yeah. <laughs> Chris living yeah yeah he Chris living Chris. good uh, yeah. how do you feel like I I did I had a, a clip to go viral mm -hmm. about Chris to be honest with you it was like uh, Artola was on there and he was like it was like, he was on my show and he was like uh Man, uh, putting guns in the hood, that ain't helping nobody, man. He said he need to check in. I said, damn. <laughs> what do you think about, like, when people come to the city that really, you know, just embrace the culture, but really they, they basically, they just, they love everybody here. And they, like me, hell, a nigga from the outside, yeah. they come in, but you want to, you know, respect it. I ain't going to say be a part of it because you can't be a part of something that you really didn't yeah, know right, and grow right. up in. How do you feel about that? I mean, nowadays you're going to be a... Guilty by affiliation anyway, the way that they Y'all niggas out. hanging out. Yeah, facts. <laughs> so all that shit, that just go hand in hand. Yeah. You know, but I never had no problem with no feeling about what niggas got going on other places, how they dress, what they represent either, because niggas need a clean shot from the inside before they start worrying about <laughs> You right, like we got some work to do. Like a motherfucker. You know? <laughs> really? Like, like you got yeah. niggas here that ain't genuine. That's faking like a motherfucker, so. I always felt like that about that shit was I ain't never, you know, but I just feel like it's all love because I got to go different places too. So. But it's like so many people love the culture. Did you, yeah. do you ever think like this coach, I don't interview the OGs, I interview everybody, mm -hmm. but like people everywhere, do you really understand how much they embrace no, what you sure. guys are? For sure, yeah. That's crazy. Like. Yeah. I mean, I ain't found myself, nigga, acting like I was up here. You know what I'm talking about? You got to be careful. Nigga, I'm from up here. What's nigga, up, Snoop man? Dogg, Neil Cole, nigga, what's up, nigga? You know, all you can blood. Huh? Uh, down south, down too, south. They say, they say cuz a lot. They say it a lot. They like cousin, though. They don't mean it like like yeah. that. Like, if I yeah. say, my cousin, he won't even say it. And he <laughs> he think he he think he's just with y'all, nigga. Like, yeah. you know? Yeah. He be like, what's up, Kim folk? I know how he trying not to say cuz. <laughs> 
Yeah, he a bud. He really is. <laughs> he ain't trying to hear it, man. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Dre. That's right. Yeah. But it's crazy. Thanks. Like, like you guys' culture, man, and really just, it spread it, bro. Yeah. And, and and you young, and the young niggas really made it to where it was still cool. Like, it could have faded away. Yeah. But y'all lived it and had to embrace it as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So do you have to be careful what side of I'm not from here. So do you got a name. Like, nigga, you can't just go to this block or that I, block. I go where I want to go. So the earth is your yeah. turf. I'll be on my bike. I'll be by myself. I just left Snoopy Blue. My homeboy got uh, killed. Snoopy Blue? Snoopy Blue from East Coast. He, he just got killed. I just came from his burial right now before I came over here. Really? Yeah. What happened to him? He got killed. Gang violence. Here recently? Yeah, about Two weeks ago. So you had to go by and visit his grave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, today they buried him. Oh, they so, buried him today. So yeah. you went by afterwards? Yeah. Man, that's, that's, that, and you, how did you know him? Like, um, just, just in the been streets? Been out here, yeah, been out here in the streets. Was he an artist? Yeah, he was an artist too. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. It's been a lot of artists from up here that really been like, I've seen one dude, I think he got stabbed in the neck or shot in the neck. Yeah, Draco. And, and then it was another one that got shot at a place, you know, I don't, it was one before that. Like, it was like back to back nah, to it was back. was a couple of them. It was a couple for sure. How does that, that's why I go back to the rappers again. Yeah. Like, it's like, dang, man, like, is it a Target thing? You got Dolph down in the South, I mean, Mo3 from where we from. A lot of people be doing things besides rap. What I'm saying. It's, it's a lot like more street, just, huh? Yeah, they ain't just killing niggas that rap. They, <laughs> it's they, a lot they, of niggas dying, period, they, too. They killing this, this under, and, you know, under, under rap shit. The niggas got yeah. Killing. So do you think that, like, when you think about just the culture up here and when you go to other cities, like, people, they respecting, like, where you from. Yeah. They, they, it's niggas that... I, I ain't gonna we want to bring this up, but I gotta bring it up. I had Larry Hoover at my store, Larry Hoover <laughs> Jr., and this nigga that was on my show, uh, he just came by. Yeah. He out there throwing the Hoover signs like he, this, this nigga is lost in the sauce. <laughs> my old boy said, "Look at this fool, man. Yeah. He think this nigga that's from Hoover." <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, these that's these young bad. niggas crazy, man. Yeah. They is doing whatever to fit in this yeah, thing. Facts. You know, like, I be part. tripping off of them, man. Because they're young. I'm old, so I ain't got to worry about it no yeah. more. I'm like, let that nigga go, man. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas ain't thinking. Niggas ain't on the right of cereal. Do you, do you see who hot in, like, if I was listening to a hot artist in uh, L.A., somebody I'm going to look up, who is it now, uh, uh, right now, today, like, you be like, that nigga hot right now. I hot it, but everybody don't know about it. L.A., I would say, um, so artist name G Down. He, G Down, yeah. remember that. Yeah. Write that down for me. I need that. He popping. G Down one hundred three. He G Down one hundred three. I'm gonna listen he to him. Bye bye. Anybody else? Um, it's a couple people, man. Lawless, he just got some plaques. Young Lawless. Lawless. Yeah. See, I be one. I know how you telling me the truth. You sure. like you know what's going on. Oh, yeah. I mean, I got a small, you know, circle of ears I lend out. But um. Man, like the city high for real. I ain't gonna it's lie. High. These are just niggas that I that I listen to. You rock with. No, yeah. that's what I want to know. Yeah. What top top three artists of all time, dead or alive? I'm gonna get you out of here. Top three artists, dead or alive. I say Tupac. Tupac number one. Yeah. Number two. The game. I gotta put the game in there. Yeah, that boy bad. Number three. Drake. Drake. Okay. Everybody. What? Drake. This nigga slide in everywhere it go, man. This nigga but, you know, but you know what's the most popular top three we've had? Who? We've had Michael Jackson, Prince, and, and then Tupac. Tupac. Mm -hmm. the, the top three. Yeah. Because yeah. any genre. Yeah. Not only rap. So. Yeah, but he shut it down with his. Don't try to change his choice. <laughs> around this whole, we rap crazy around this thing. Yeah. Man, so did we miss anything, man? My boy, man, come to Menace in the building. We got a Harley Davidson deal. First black person. First, you gotta be kidding me. Don't first say you know. First urban to get it done. You wow. got a Harley Davidson What's the deal? deal? Well, we're going to do a lot of promotion, partnership, cross-branding. Mm. And um, I'm trying to get an um, amb ambassador deal with him so I can build my own bike. And, you know. and you, you, wow. You win the How did that happen, though? Just, if somebody say something can't get done, just don't believe me. So you reached I out had, to them, or did yeah, they reach out? I, I had called Rania. She do a lot of business for me. Shout out to Rania. I told her that I want to try and get a Harley Davidson sponsorship or something like that so she reached out it took us like three four months you know, we came up with agreement and uh, you know we got us right that's a blessing man how many harley davidson's do you have right now yeah like five now 
Wow. Yeah. And you could you be pulling them out and sliding everywhere all yeah. over the time. No, I let the homies ride. Oh, you let they ride yeah, with yeah, you? Yeah, y'all be rolling. Yeah, fact. Where y'all go? What's the longest trip you ever took? Because that whole like, like, like driving trip. to old school. Nah, like Vegas. You feel me? Yeah, okay, that's dope. That's, that's three and a half. That's about three. We're going to go to Oakland on the first. Y'all going to Oakland? Like six I've never hours. been to Oakland. I want to go up there, man. I'm, I'm, we going, going up there. We nah, going up there. I'm trying to get too short. It's going to be like 2,000 bikes up there. Wow. Oh, yeah? yeah. And are so, you a part of a club? Yeah, about Street Woods. Shout out to the Street Woods, man. Compton Street Woods. That's cool. Yeah, we got a low rider bike club too, Rack City. And we got a car club too, all rags. Yeah. All, all convertible. So in all y'all all convertible? Yeah, wow. Y'all be killing it, don't you? Yeah, facts, they facts. still riding them 13s out here? Yeah. Y'all niggas hell. He got 13s on his car. Do it. <laughs> don't go in, no, they, Outside. Them 13s, boy, they ain't serious about them times, man. And it's some dudes that move to Texas and they be rolling like that from yeah. LA, but they be in Texas. Mm -hmm. That be tripping me out, and then we got a lot of Hispanics. Yeah, for sure. They ain't playing Hispanics no games. Like yeah, they out there, they with it, dog. Yeah. Like, they pull up and they gonna hit switches yeah. like they out here. Right. Do they still be in them switches like yeah, that? Yeah. They be out. Where they go? Like, what day is a good day I can see them do it? Saturday? Yeah, Sunday, probably. Yeah, like Saturday, Sunday, the beach. Doc Waller Beach. They all Doc Waller. Remember that? Doc Waller. That's yeah. the beach we've never been to. Yeah, well, hell, it's I need to go over there. The and it's the old schools, too. They be yeah. killing it. Old That's schools and motorcycles and shit. Hell yeah. I mean, see, I don't know that. So if I knew that, I'm going. You well, know, I'm go check it. Tomorrow we're going to go to Malibu. It's around in Malibu. They're going to be in Malibu? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. where you going to be at? Y'all yeah. just over there chilling, showing yeah, them bikes yeah. out. Yeah, facts, facts. facts. You pull up on them. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas say, there you go. We outside. So they know, they know the, like, what's the name of the club again? Compton Street Wars. Compton. We got different chapters. Shout out to IE Street Wars. Shout out to all the Street Wars. What the Compton Street Wars? Y'all got the uh, the shirts or? Yeah, or, let me, yeah, yeah. I seen it, yeah. What's on the back of that hoe so I know when I see y'all coming? Yeah, that hoe going in, too. Got the wolf on that hoe. Man, That's hold nice. up. Man, hold up. And it's leather. Yeah. It, it, it almost reminds me of what's the name. You know what's the name, right? Uh, Fred Hampton Jr. When oh, I yeah. Them, they, yeah. they them black pamphlets are serious yeah. with that leather. They Facts. ain't playing with that. <laughs> they, they ain't playing with that leather up there in Chicago, right? Yeah, man, thank you so much, man. It's appreciate love, bro. I love you, bro. I ain't gonna never forget you. Well, when you come you. to Dallas, you better check in. Nah, for sure, for you sure. be like, hey, E, I'm in Dallas. I'm gonna pull up. And I don't even go nowhere. They know it, too. They be like, so, that nigga don't come out for nobody. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the homegirl. She on the weed spot in Dallas. It's a CBD. What's her name? Uh, 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 April. <laughs> April? Yeah, April. And, and where is it at? It's, it's, she got like three locations out there. Really? Yeah. Is it, that and it's that, called what? That ain't Shady. The Weed Spot. Spot. The Weed Spot. The Weed well, Spot. The CBD and they, it's they CBD sell because like, it's um, not legal. Oh, it's yeah. coming. She getting ready. She piped yeah, yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> they sell like lattes and different shit like that. Okay. It's dope That's spot. Check it out. Yeah, check it out. Man, thank you so much. Shout out to Sean again, man. It's my dog, man. Shout out Sean. That's the reason I'm over here with my boy, man. Come to Menace in the yes, building. Sir. I was excited about this one. As soon as mm -hmm. I was like, I got me one, man. I'm just so happy that I got to you know, hang out with you here in sure. in Los Angeles. I feel like I'm I'm in there now. I done did comedians. I got my boy right here, Compton Minutes, who an artist and an actor. It's going down, man. Check it, man. Hey, sure. man. It's really, hey, how can people get a hold of you? I gotta say that. Compton Minutes, everything. Just look up Compton Minutes, everything. Everything, man. Make sure y'all go tag Harley Davis and thank him for. Uh, giving us a nice position. Look how you do it, man. This nice. nigga here can always come on my show, man. <laughs> Nigga's kicking it. I'm going to be, research gonna be researching the hell out of you. You don't even know Let's it, nigga. Up. I'm going to be calling. He's like, man, we got to do another interview. Let's, <laughs> Let's get it. If y'all so, going to be here, couple of, I got a wife, too. So we yeah, go yeah, I'm going to be here. Okay, cool. we yeah, yeah. yeah we going to be here. We ain't doing... We here. We outside. Ain't that what they said on yeah. them young niggas? <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Check it, man. Hey, man, it's been so, another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. Man.